What's going on guys? I'm Adolin and welcome back to Hellboy. Last time we left off, we literally went through hell and was chasing after our mother because she was down there for some reason. And But now we have the sword. I think Dillian has forgiven us. I think that's what happens. Pretty much he's forgiven us and he wants to continue. We got to continue on with our journey, which is pretty much going back and getting on the bridge, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know what we're gonna face from here on out. I don't. Hopefully, I don't face for those marauders. I think I'm gonna call them marauders. The guy with the two berserker thing, like not the berserker, the two hand axes. I'm gonna call them marauders, and the guy with the big axe. I'm gonna call him the berserker, because they are all kinds of crazy. But still, I uh, hopefully. Oh. Okay. Okay, I hear you. Oh, why do you sound freakier than normal? Hello? Is it me? Yes. Mm. I don't think y'all are here to help. Yes, I know you're back. Are you like the... what are y'all called? We're here to help oh, you. Oh. You need us. So worried. Silence is lonely. We didn't know where you'd come. We're here to help you. Y'all, weren't y'all here with me this entire time? Trust us. Because, I mean, you're like inside my head. You know, you're not like spirits following me. Yes. We won't leave you. Don't leave us. I'm not going to leave you. You can't because you're in my head. Whatever, I'm done talking to you. We found her. We Am I going the right way? We found you. Oh god, you're you freaking me out. Come on. Back. You're sounding like a bunch of uh, stalkerish girlfriends. Don't worry, Sam. We'll look after you. Don't oh. worry. Sam, I'm sure you're safe. Okay, thank you. I appreciate She's it. Safe now. You're always safe with us. She has us. Am I going the right way? You've done so well, Sam. Come so far. Listen, Sam. Isn't that a song also? So far away. Listen to us. Now I'm trying to, but. Do you listen, Zenwa? We will help you. We're here to help you. We'll help you go even further than you've been before. You don't I have to appreciate do this the sentiment. Kind of wondering what's up here, though. I don't think I've actually been Shall up here. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? I know where to go. I'm not a dummy. I'm listening. I'm just kind of looking around because I'm. I know there's a story around here that I didn't ever finish. Yes, I do. Y'all are annoying me today. I want to look in these sewers. Oh, these sewers are kind of creepy. I'm not glad you're back. Y'all are kind of annoying. Yes, I know. Go up into the mountain. Oh, well, there's another way over here. Is there two ways? No. I don't think there is. Oh, well, there kind of is. And then there's over here. Where'd that ladder go, then? Oh, the ladder just comes over here. Kind of kind of just exploring everything now. Because I guess I haven't... Because I never came up this way. I kind of just bypassed it, thinking that it was just going to... Uh, I, I don't know why I bypassed it. I thought that maybe I actually had to go up this way instead of where I went. I don't know. Excuses, right? I'm also kind of still looking for them story things because them story things are kind of cool. There's a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Senna. Go away. I'm not listening. Yeah, go away. Oh, crap. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. What's over there? Oh, that's... Oh! We had a, like a, a vision thing over this way. Yeah, we had one of our quests over there. I wonder if they're like all over the this that island then around the tree. That's neat. Kind of makes me feel like there's gonna be stuff. I bet you. Well, I don't know. 
I was gonna say, I thought this door was gonna be like one of those doors that you had to do the whole seek and find kind of thing, but uh, I guess not. Well, this place is a little dark and kind of creepy. Into the mountain. It's an achievement I just unlocked, which I doubt is a good achievement. I have a lot of those things to get. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. I've never heard of the Born other one. after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. Oh, that bastard. You see, Rain's father possessed mm. a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. Oh, that's where I recognize the name Fafner. By the way, these names, I don't know why they sound hard to sound out sometimes. Like, it's like one of those names you see and you're like, or you hear and you're like, oh, I can, I can say that. But then you actually see it but not hear it kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's me. So I can't go that way. That's a cool thing. Am I going to have to fight a dragon? Okay, all of these are kind of, oh, wait, I kind of can go that way. Oh, okay, okay. Fafnir. A dragon. Imagine he'd be a black dragon. You know, like they have always like the elemental type of things. You have a red dragon, you have a green dragon, white dragon. Maybe I'm just going really D and D with this. Ew, something sounds squishy. Okay, so if I fall down here, I'm. Okay, doke. Okie doke. I'm listening, but I'm kind of... Okay, I'm getting out of here. This place is freaking me out, man. Wait a second, what's that? That is a stone. Alright. What is it? She can feel it. No. Don't let me do it. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. What's that? Get back. Great beast guards uh, yeah. Helheim. Garm is its down. name. Ooh, I know Garm. It knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. I remember the name Garm. Garm was like in uh, what is it? The, the, the game I just did. Uh, through the woods. It was a dog that guards hell. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I got to go all the way over there. I don't think I'm just going to suck it up and go. Ready, steady, go. Just run. Oh, come on, come on. Get to the light. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. What? My sword can't be used. Okay, there has to be something. I have to go down there. I feel like I'm gonna have to run down there because there's light down there. Oh, the lights went out. Oh no. But I'm. Oh, this sucks. This is so scary. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Don't be fooled. The beast is still here. No. It's a trick. Mother, do you hear that? Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's 
not hurt. So full of hate. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. So he's gone now. They always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. You kind of are. No, I won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming. Senor, help me. Help, get me out of here. Don't go. Oof. I really need to set. Oh, hey, neat. She escaped the darkness. I think I'm scared of the she darkness took her too own now. Life to escape it. Ugh. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Wait a second. Is the person that's talking in my head the so, main so, woman? So Is that my mom? Or the mom of her? Well, this place is just unpleasant. Oh crap, look at all this. Torch is gonna go out. I can't go she under. Oh goodness! If I go that way, the torch is gonna go out, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, if I have to do something else to go there first, or what? But I need my torch. God, this is really like freaky, man. Okay, I know I have to go under there, but I might as well go look at other places first, because maybe they'll give me something else to use. Maybe I can just, like, stick the torch through the thing and hold on to it or something. Ooh, it can go up. Ooh, did you hear that? It said, you killed us. Oh, that's a lot of dead people. I got a time limit? Oh, this is... Okay. Oh, okay. I'm seeing something around then. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is handy dandy. I can stay here for all eternity if I want to, if I want. Oh, well, that is pretty neato. So going up uh, was smarter, I think. Oh, come on, don't be. Oh, thank God I have this. Yes, I know my mother's trapped in hell, but. Uh, Okay, I can't go through there yet. Might as well just run down here. And they keep saying that my light's going out, so it's kind of freaking me out. Ooh, this feels like another place. Hey, quit with that crap. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait, this is the same place I was. Wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was. Maybe there's a place I can light my... 
Okay, here are some more places I can light my thing. Which I don't know if it's like, uh, it refuels yours or just gives you a little bit more light to work with. Oh, this is like a maze. A really scary, oh crap. Oh, hello. But if I go down there, I am just absolutely effed. Stop. God, why y'all freaking... Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Kind of. Don't. She's lighting the torch. Oh boy, he is. Oh, okay, okay. It is keeping on. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Got rid of you. Okay, screw you, though. Who else is there? Okay. I'm gonna take the torch. I'm just, oh, yes, there's lots of blood. I just kind of want to live. Those berserker guys, man, they have me straight up shaken. Okay, so I'm almost got all these torches lit in here. Ah, stop. Oh, this is one of the things. You can see it. One more. Well Thank it's you. Nice. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Mm hmm. Imprisoned in her room at night, the faces in the dark coming through the walls. Yeah. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. Where the frick am I? Just realized I have no idea where I'm at. I think. Okay, so I'm already. I've already been here. Crap! That is not a good sign. That means the only other spot I have to go... Yes, I know you'll find me. The only spot I have to go now is underneath the water. Yay, great. Oh, this is going to suck so much balls. I feel confident I can... Okay, so it saved me here. Meaning that this is a complicated spot. Okay, there has to be something... Go, 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 come on! The panic is Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Thank you for that crap, man. There's over there. Go. Get to the light, get to the light, get to the light. That little piece of light. Ah! Stop, stop, stop. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. You have to rest here on his side. She's stuck. She hasn't found the rooms. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. Stay safe. You're safe in the light. But I have to go. Where's the fire? Okay, go, 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 okay. Oh, thank God. Where's the fire? Oh, it's over there. Yep, so close, so close, so far. Okay. Oh. Okay, but there's another... I know there's a door up here that's going to allow me out. Which is going to be super freaking nice, because it's just one extra... Where is it? Now you're free to search. Now you can see it's here. The light. Yes, I just want to open the door. Come on, guys. Let me open the door. Boom. Now, I wish it save right here. That would be absolutely fabulous. Shut up, I'm not listening to anybody. You can talk to the hand. I wonder if there's any of those things around. Alright. Yes, I'm so close, yet so far away. Okay. So I'm supposed to see it somewhere. Yes, thank you. You will find you too. Where is it? Oh, there's another one right here. But you have to light up some of these to reveal it. It's got to be a shadow. Unless it's on the ground? No. Was there another thing over here? I don't think there was. Is there something over here? Oh, there's more lights. Oh, oh I can see it. I can see it. It's like right there. I probably have to light up this other torch. Uh, to light up the torch, obviously, to see it. It's right in the water. There it is. I couldn't focus on it, that's why. Or I had to light up the torch. Do you feel it? The beast is crawling into your mind. Oh, yeah, I, I could see it. I can feel it. It found your mother and used her to trap you in here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? I mean, you could say that. But then again, it could be the darkness, man, just telling you what they want to say. You know? That's what I'm getting from this. Don't listen to the darkness. Ooh! Ooh, I found a thingy! Rain the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. 
Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafnir. I really wish I can hear some more of this. This is a really cool story. But they're all kind of cool stories. I don't... Wait a minute. Can I go keep going up? Nope, I can't. But all these places are kind of cool stories. Oh, they got really dark. Mm. Alright guys, we're going to end this episode here. Man, Into the Mountain is really creepy. The voices in here are super strong and it's starting to mix together between like darkness and whoever this is it like uh, darkness and the other people on my mind which also could be darkness it could just be craziness man it's getting it's still really cool but anyways so i hope you all enjoy this episode and i'll see you all next time